Well, hello. God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooded Sr. here. Hey, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you notice, I got the windows open a little bit to let a little light in. <laughs> because we are living in some dark times, but I'm here to tell you that Jesus is Lord and he's large and in charge. And I'm excited about serving the God of the Bible. Now we're coming upon the Labor Day weekend. And if anyone happens to be traveling and you're passing through, hey, stop by and join us here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ at 3300 Idlewood Village Drive. Raleigh, North Carolina. We're having church, church, and some more church. And tonight we're going to have, not going to drum roll yet, Bible study. Hey, let me tell you this. I want, I want to thank God for the audience. They're some of the, you're some of the finest people that I've ever met. People fly in on a regular basis. They drive in, they come through and they say, Bishop Wooden, we want the upper room experience. My wife and I, several of us was out at a restaurant this past Sunday and one of them, oh, she's just a wonderful woman of God. She, she did the drum roll. And I tell you, I was so impressed by her. You know, listen, there are wonderful people who love Jesus Christ and love this ministry. And I am so thankful to God for you. And I pray that you will continue to keep us lifted in prayer and we will continue. Pray that I continue to preach God's truth with power and without uh, apology, with authority De 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 declaring God's word to be true because it is not only is it true, but it's truth. And I love it. Now, listen, I'm sure you've heard uh, a lot uh, about what's going on uh, out in the in the uh, in the Kojic world, online, in the church world. And somehow, Brother Gary, I don't know how this happened, but somehow some of the uh, bloggers and others have somehow, some way given me authority that I simply do not have and have through their own interpretations put me in a category that I certainly do not belong in. Our presiding bishop, presiding bishop J. Drew Sheard, who is the leader of the church of God in Christ, whom I love, admire, and respect. I praise God for the relationship that I have with him. I praise God for the friendship and the fellowship. I praise God even for the conversations that he and I are able to have and for him taking me into his bosom. He appointed me as co-director of the men's ministry, along with Bishop Michael B. Golden Jr. And we serve at the presiding bishop's pleasure. And we're excited about being able to work with him. I'm overjoyed about the opportunity to serve with him. And uh, I tell you, I thank God for him. Now, there's a whole lot of talk because he made a decision that only he could make. And I thank God that he made it. And I support the decision 100%. And that was the decision not to partner with the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons. And uh, for somehow, somehow, some way, Gary, I don't know how, but somehow there are those out there who have uh, uh, assumed that that when the presiding bishop uh, said that while he was considering this, that he was attacked, uh, some have assumed that it was Brother Wooden. Well, listen, all I got to say to you is if he was attacked and, if, and, uh, and he was because he said he was, I'll tell you this right now. It wasn't by me. And if you don't believe me, here's what I want you to do. Ask him. And he'll tell you, I serve with him. I love him. He's my leader. He's a mighty man of God and he has a huge responsibility. I pray for him on a regular basis that God would keep him, that God would use him, that God would use him to navigate this, the Lord's church. And I'm, and, and the decisions, uh, the decision that he made concerning, uh, pulling the plug, I said in a release that he did that and he was the only one who was qualified. Now, if there are people out there who think that Brother Wooden uh, <laughs> has that kind of swing, I mean, Gary, that's laughable. <laughs> 
you, number one, you don't know the presiding bishop, J. J. Shed, and you certainly don't know me, and you don't know the structure of the church of God in Christ. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, uh, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you. I thank God for holiness. I thank God for our church and I thank God for the work that we're doing. I thank God for the goodness of Jesus Christ. And listen, uh, uh, we uh, believe in feeding the poor. We believe in doing all of the works uh, that the Lord would have us to do. And no, we're not uh, uh, hoarding food for the tribulation is not a part of our doctrine as it is a part of the Mormons doctrine, but we are indeed feeding people. We've been feeding people here for decades, for decades, and we shall continue to do so with the help and the strength of the Lord, uh, financed by the tithe and offerings of the saints and the goodness and the favor of the God of the Bible. And I thank God. I thank God and I thank God and we will continue continue to do the things that God has given us to do. Now, my friends, make no mistake about it. Hey, but one God, he's the God of the Bible. There's, no, there's only one true religion. That true religion is biblical Christianity. I believe that the 66 books of the Bible contains the love letter that God wrote to the human race. I do not believe that the Apocrypha or any of the other books, the Book of Mormons, or any of the others, or the Quran, uh, any of them uh, contains God's letter. This is the Bible is God's word. It contains God's words. It contains God's truth. From Genesis to Revelation, we have the word of God. I am a closed canon preacher. I believe that everything that God had to say to the human race in written form, he said it between the pages of this book. And uh, I'm going to, this is the hill that I'm going to uh, die on. This is what I believe. And this is what I've been following and preaching and teaching for the last 46 years. And I'm not about to change it now. And I pray that every preacher out there will just stand on the word of God and and we serve a God who will provide. He will give us the means that we need to carry out the visions and the things that he has given to us. So my friends, I'm excited tonight uh, about uh, the service. One thing we're seeing, there's one thing that we're seeing and we're seeing it and we're seeing it. We're seeing that the body of Christ Many uh, of you, especially by your comments online, many of you simply no longer adhere to church doctrine. Many of you have become emotional in your approach to how biblical Christianity operates. Many of you have never taken the time to read the Bible, to see what God has to say about these things. And we're weighing into matters. And you notice many who weigh in, you weigh in with no scripture, no word from the Lord. And, and many who do apply scripture, they don't apply it in context. And let me tell you something, the God of the, this book right here will never say what it never said. It will never mean what it never meant. You can't apply meaning to the Bible. Brother Gary, the Bible is the only book that people read to tell it what it means. Now, every other book we read, we read to try to find out what, uh, what the thing is saying to us. But when it comes to the Bible, we read the Bible to try to tell the Bible what it's saying. That makes no sense at all. God's word is right. God's word is true. And my friends, I invite you to grab hold to the word of God. We used to sing the song back in the day, get in the word and stay there. Stay there till he comes. Get in the word and stay there. Stay there till he comes. Get in the word and stay there. Stay there till he comes. And then we get happy. Stay there. Stay there till he comes. <laughs> Get all fired up. And, yes, I'm going to stay there till he comes. I got to just stay there. Listen, stay with the word. And if you stay with the word, you're going to be all right. And God is going to bless you real good. Again, I want you to know, I love my presiding bishop. We have a wonderful relationship. And I invite you 
my brave brothers and sisters who means right. If you think that he was talking about me when he was mentioning being attacked, all I say to you is ask him. I'm not qualified to attack him. I love him. I'm in his corner 100 percent. I praise God for him and I ask God to continue to use and bless him and keep him and give him rest and give him strength and, and God use him as he navigates this, the Lord's church. Now, join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> You guessed it. Oh, tonight we're going to walk in the scriptures. We're going to study the Bible together. And the God of the Bible is going to bless us real good. I love you. Make it a fantastic day. And we'll see you tonight right here, right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.